hot off the presses. Grab your exclusive merch at the Vile Hip Hop Shop. Protect your energy at all costs. And you tired of all these self-proclaimed goats? Will be a goat killer exclusively at the Viral Hip Hop Shop. Link in the description. Coach your brand here at Viral Hip Hop News. Hit me, Sam Ant, at dlsmediainc1 at gmail.com. dlsmediainc1 at gmail.com. Let's go. But we do, I do have to, we do have uh, bills to pay. And yeah. so, therefore, I have it set up where for a small amount, people can go on the ministerofwellness.com and there you can get. Uh, watch all of my full length health messages on, you know, the stick and so forth. Yeah, you talk, you had a very powerful conversation about the Tuskegee experiment and how that's continuing to happen to this day. So I strongly implore everybody who's interested to please go over there and check out that sermon. It is very, very powerful. Oh, you got to watch it. I told, oh, I told you I was going to watch that. <laughs> I, I wasn't lying to you. Um, yeah, man. But um, what, I, what else did I want to ask you? I want to talk about Lizzo. Right. And I don't want to beat up on Lizzo because I feel like that young woman is very sensitive to her weight. I don't feel like that she even though she embraces it and she throws a big F you out to people who criticize. Yeah. I feel like she's self-conscious about it. So I want to be careful in what I say. I don't want to criticize her. Yes, sir. But a lot of people do. A lot of people go at her weight. And um, I talked about it on Lionel's documentary. And I don't want to give too much away, but I said she's somewhere. She's she's a unicorn. She's something different. Very few people can go out there and not only perform their songs at a high level but sing and perform at the same time you got people that are 100 pounds lighter than her that couldn't do what she does but she's somewhere she's different she's an outlier but to the young ladies and the people that she influences how detrimental is her message if any it's in your opinion to some of the young ladies and young men that may watch her and follow her it is dangerous because <clears throat> if somebody that's accepting her message right now as little girls especially and they're struggling with their weight and they're listening to her and she's influencing them to just accept it, to accept the disease that is the leading cause of breast cancer, uh, female mutilation, um, polycystic ovarian syndrome disease. It's a dangerous message to promote obesity. L listen, when you're struggling with something, you need to keep your struggles to yourself and get help. Yeah. But, but if you don't have the strength like somebody like me, you know, brothers, you know, you'll know when I'm in top, when I'm in top shape. OK, I have a lot of stress on my plate. And so I'm not going to sit here and lie and try to act self-righteous to you all as if I've been eating fruits for the last 40 days. Because if I would, if I would, I would be looking like I did in the Marines, the, my Marvin Hagler weight. OK, <laughs> so but so the struggle is real. Yeah. But brother Sam, that that message that you that you watched of me, I'm going through a lot and you witnessed me stand up in the midst of my pain mm -hmm. and I still going to preach that truth, man. I am not going to get up there and try to make myself feel better. No, vegan junk food is vegan junk food. Yep. Okay. It the is. truth is the truth. Man. And if you, if, if I ever get to the point brothers to where my struggles are so great, to where I start to feel like I have to compromise my message to make myself get better, I'm going to sit my butt down because I'm too afraid of the creator and I'm too afraid of what the most high will do to me. That's my warning to Lizzo. I understand you're struggling. We all do. They put, you got million dollar scientists creating drugs to make it more addicting than sex. Of course we all struggle with it, sister. We feel your pain. But you cannot use your experience to to try to justify your struggle because that influence can help kill somebody. Yeah. You can't do that. Mm. You have to get the help and then come back stronger for it. Monique, she is still trying to make up for her toxic obesity acceptance message. She's mm. still trying to make up for that because it's weighing on her conscience. How many women? that I helped get their legs amputated from diabetes because mm. I was making them feel good in their obesity that causes diabetes. Now mm. you got to live with that for the rest of your life. And what I'm saying, brothers, I, I let me tell you something. I know how to be a police officer the right way. I know how to do the job the right way. I know how to go to work and just uh, answer my people calls, do the job right and go home. I will go back to that before I sit there and stand up there as the minister of wellness and compromise this message of truth. 
And and so that's why um that's why Lizzo, you know, that that's the danger of what she's doing. I fear for uh for her conscience sake, because we all we all this life is is this life is a short life. We all are gonna have to answer, no matter what religious system you're under, you're gonna have to answer to your creator for the actions and the deeds that you've done. And you do not want to have when you're dying or when you when you know you're dying, you don't want to have to have it on your conscience about how many people that I influence in a negative way. You don't want that. You want to on your when you take in your last breaths, you want to have a peace of mind that you know what? I helped a lot of people. I helped to save a lot of people. And I know that's going to matter as I take my final breaths. I got one more question for you, brother. We definitely appreciate you, the Minister of Wellness on the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. Definitely appreciate the wealth yes, of knowledge of you coming on today. Um, you, you 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 opened up about talking about your father and how he was a devout preacher yes, and sir. how uh, white Christianity was a detriment to his health and his longevity. But can, throughout this conversation, I continue to hear you talk about spirituality and the Most High and the Creator. So obviously, that spiritual element never left your side. How how do us as a people kind of separate from white Christianity? But at the same time, keep our spiritual enlightenment intact, in your opinion. By doing what uh, by 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 doing what Dr. Africa and other leaders have taught, uh, even a lot of the uh, uh, brother uh, and I forget the name of the pastor who they give the credit to so-called black theology is restoring the African heritage to whatever belief system you are. Yeah. And so Christianity uh, is a African Hebrew Israelite origins. That's what it is. Uh, Jesus, uh, Yahshua Hamashiach, uh, he was a black Hebrew Israelite. All the writers of the Bible, the whole scriptures, the real scriptures is in Ethiopia. And so that's what helped me was restoring their true heritage. So whether you a Buddha and a Buddha, of course, was an African, or whether you Hindu or Muslim, whatever you choose to believe in, uh, as long as you keep the African heritage of it, you won't be led astray. But if you don't and you start believing in what was sabotaged, then yes, you're going to end up like my father. You know what's so horrific about what happened to my father. And this is why, you know, I despise um, the European Christianity. It's a weapon of mass destruction that has uh, to helped destroy our people. Uh, so, yes, what I'm saying is that the Bibles that they gave us in slave, yes, those, those that when they say that's the white man, but that is true. But what I'm saying is that uh, that's not.